If you want to get into podcasting, forget Zoom. That is not the way to go. You definitely want to try Zencaster. If you know me, you know I'm obsessed with quality. And so it's incredibly important to me. And, you know, not all of my guests are tech savvy. They don't all have the best internet connection. Zencaster is able to solve all of those problems with their really innovative platform. If you go to Zencaster.com and use promo code Holly, you will get the first three months for 30% off. That's Zencaster.com and use promo code Holly to take advantage of this incredible offer today. You were kind of one of those people that got really, really famous, but I feel like it didn't change you, which is unusual. Uh, Do you feel like it's, I mean, it must have changed right. you somewhat. Like, obviously you have to become much clearer about setting boundaries and you have to like right. recognize that certain people are after you for certain things and you have to be aware of that. But right. do you still like feel like the same person at all? Oh, I still feel like the same person. So I was just having this conversation with a friend, like I still feel like I'm 18 sometimes, but then I like look back at, and I'm like, but I've grown and changed so much. Yeah. But I definitely still feel like the same person. I just feel like I'm still learning. I'm still growing and evolving. Yeah. But um, there's always this this sort of idea, like, you can't be nice. Yeah. And I understand it because I've definitely been taken advantage of by other people or, mm-hmm. or I feel like people have tried to use me in certain ways. Right. Um, but not to the point where it makes me completely resentful and bitter. Mm-hmm. And I've even had people on shoots tell me, like, you need to be more of a bitch. I'm like, huh? Like, where does that get you? you yeah. I mean? It's just not, it's not in me. Right. And I actually struggle sometimes because I, I feel like there's times where I should maybe, like, put that barrier up or right. set that boundary. And right. I'm, I'm such an open-minded and, like, kind of relaxed person that right. it's hard for me. And so I have to kind of remind myself or hype myself up a little bit sometimes to be like, okay, I'm going into this particular situation. Like, don't let this happen. Right. Don't let that happen. So yeah, right. I, I get it. But, um, it's, I would say personally for sure it's affected me, but like not in the way I try not to let it affect me in the way I deal with people or interact with people. Right. You're also fortunate. I'm, I'm jealous of you having someone also to like, as like having an agent, you know, mm-hmm. having somebody that can kind of be that person who's like, okay, these are, cause you know, I talked to your agent before mm-hmm. you came on and I, I actually liked being able to like talk to her about like boundaries and rules and all that stuff and not yeah. having to deal with that with you. It yeah. was kind of nice, you yeah. know, cause then like you and I can just have a good time and Takes like, I know, <laughs> yeah, totally. Because I don't have an agent. So I have to be that person uh, for myself and uh, that's can yeah. be hard for me. Cause I'm the same way. Like I want to, yeah. You know, and I obviously don't have the level of fame that you have whatsoever, but I definitely find myself in situations where I'm nice and then mm-hmm. I totally regret it mm-hmm. because this person had, you know, intentions that they did not yeah. reveal to me at the beginning. Do you think those are like people that you, people that you actually know or more no, so? No, like business people. Mm-hmm. Like I get the most insane amount of bullshit business like proposals, especially now since I started the podcast. Oh, it's, I understand. I, I bet. I bet you I do. Like just, you know, first of all, if someone sends me an email and it doesn't have like a signature with like a company name and like, right. you know what I mean? Like if it's just like, like Tom from his iPhone, right. like I'm just <laughs> not going to respond at this point. It's all in the details. It's all in the details. It's do you, true. can you like, do, do any come to mind as of late, like any bizarre kind of emails or business <gasps> proposals that you've gotten? Or do you have like one that comes up really often? Like, do people still think that you're in the adult industry and they oh, ask yeah. you to shoot or? Oh, uh, I guess not so much like that. Um, definitely on social media, mm-hmm. people do. And these are just regular people thinking that, like, I go through and read all of my messages, which mm-hmm. is impossible. Yeah. Um, but occasionally I'll open up my direct messages on any platform of social media. And, and immediately like, regret it. Dot, 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 <laughs> I'm like, okay, delete, 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 delete. Yeah. So, um, but actually professionally speaking i'm trying to think I'm trying to think i it, i can't say anything particularly bizarre like sometimes my agent will just forward me stuff and be like look at this one that came yeah. in you know and we all laugh about it but right. i feel like i just get 
generally speaking, a lot of questions or possible opportunities from Russia. Huh. And then nothing ever happens. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting that it's Russia. Oh, yeah. Huh. Yeah. It's uh, it's a mystery to me. Yeah. But they love me, and I love them. <laughs> They're hilarious. <laughs> Have you been to Russia? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've been all over. Yeah. So you're, I mean, you're like, you're you're a lot of things. You're a Renaissance woman. You're a DJ. And actually, is that what you would call yourself, a DJ? Or would you give yourself? I'd say like more musician. Musician. Making okay. Making more music this past year than okay. I am. I, I'm really, I mean, yeah, I'm really so. ignorant when it comes to the music industry. <laughs> so like, I don't. Me too. Don't. You know what I mean? I don't want to be like, you're a DJ and that means one thing and you do something else. I, you know what I mean? Um, but I, like I was telling you before we started the podcast, I looked you up a while ago, just like, oh, I wonder what she's doing. Or maybe you posted a link to something and you were playing a show in, I think it was in Mexico. I think maybe Mexico City. Yeah. And it was. was it color. Was it indoors or like colors? It indoors? was outside. Okay. And it was f-ing huge. Yeah. And the crowd was going insane yeah. for you. And I was like, oh my God. Like, I knew that you'd moved on. I, you know, see that you'd like publish books, you know, and I, and I knew that you were doing well, but to see like the scale of your fan base just going crazy for your music, I would, I have to admit, I was really, I was really happy for you. Oh, thank you. I was like, this is so great. This is, you know, because we talk a lot in adult. <laughs> I always say that like adults, like the black hole, it's like you have to move faster than the speed of light to get out. Otherwise, the force of gravity just pulls you back in and you like got out like and that is something it's not a success story for everybody. And a lot of people have tried. So first of all, it's 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 really impressive, your career. Do you know, like... Could you say maybe why you feel like you've been able to transcend that? Or is it a mystery to you too? Uh, I mean, partly it's a mystery, mm-hmm. obviously, because I set out with goals of what I wanted to do. And yeah. I thought I would be in the industry a long time. Yeah. A long, like for me, it was a life. Right. That's how I thought of it. And that's how I imagined it and planned it. Um, but I think when I when I try to reflect on it, I think... One of the biggest things is that I was always doing something else. So mm-hmm. I always had other interests. It wasn't the one thing that I relied on. Right. Uh, maybe economically for a while in the yeah. beginning, but I was always doing other things. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was always writing and I developed sort of this special relationship with my fans early on. Something that like can't, and I said this a long time ago, I remember saying this a long time ago. I know I can't sustain that forever, meaning you can't sustain that like sort of intimate online relationship with fans, whatever that means and whatever that is. Right. But I really did. I spent a lot of time like answering fan mail on social media Mm -hmm. and writing blogs and doing all of these things that where I was very interactive with my fan base. If you want to get into podcasting, forget Zoom. That is not the way to go. You definitely want to try Zencaster. If you know me, you know I'm obsessed with quality. And so it's incredibly important to me. And, you know, not all of my guests are tech savvy. They don't all have the best internet connection. Zencaster is able to solve all of those problems with their really innovative platform. If you go to Zencaster.com and use promo code Holly, you will get the first three months for 30% off. That's zencaster.com and use promo code Holly to take advantage of this incredible offer today. 